Uh, next hole we're going to go over is called a butcher. Um, the best time for me, I think, is when he's distracted. It's a very simple move, but it's very effective. You know, I've seen a lot of good guys go down with it. I've seen a lot of really good guys execute it on high-level guys. And, and you see it in, at every level, right? You see it all the way through Bantam, through International. So basically, we'll start right from where we left off with that limp arm. All right? So we spiral, we roll it over, and we know he's going to limp arm, right? And may, maybe we, we, we don't feel comfortable enough to come up and, and take the half, right? Maybe we're not there yet. So all, all, all I'm going to do is, 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 is just, just look for a post on this side. And I'm going to let him limp arm, right? If I have his wrist... I'm just gonna let him limp arm. And I'm gonna let it go and I'm gonna come above the arm and bring him over to your right. I wanna I wanna pull, take his head across his uh my cross face to his tricep, and I wanna make sure I put him on this shoulder, and all my weight's gonna go on this shoulder. All right now, the way we teach this to, to, to our younger kids is we keep weight on that shoulder and we make a basket. Alright, we make a basket. And we circle to the head, all right? It's very effective. You see it a lot in youth wrestling. So we set it up. We'll get our bing bong legs in and we set it up with his, his limp arm. And as soon as he limp arms out, we're gonna let the arm go and come right across to the face. Put him on that shoulder. Make a basket with our hands. Our hands are gonna make a basket because what I wanna do is Keep them on this shoulder, pull these arms tight, and make with my body weight. I'm, be, I'm being kind of nice. I should be on my toes, right? I should have all my, my pressure on him. But I'm trying to push this shoulder through that shoulder. Like if I could, I want to touch these two shoulders together, right? And this is going to limit his ability to defend and then start to pump to the head. All right. These guys get older. A little trickier to get with this so we have to adjust all right we have to adjust so i use my leg to take him where i need him to go good little detail right we let him limp arm we let go of the arm we take the head off put him here and all i'm going to do is take this knee and bring it underneath his armpit all right now i can start to take this knee over the head Make sure I don't lose the position until I take him over. All right. Basically, I'm throwing a half with my knee. You know, lose the one on one. I know the butcher's going to be there. I want him on that shoulder. Take that arm. Now I have, I'm going to use this knee. I'm going to drive this knee behind his head. Hold both arms if I can. If I lose this arm, it's not a big deal. I'm still in that north-south position. If he goes away from me, I put my head in the hole. If he comes into me, I take my head to the other hole. All right? Couple turns back and forth, you'll get the fall.